lighting's a little bit bad in here today, uh, gloomy conditions and whatnot outside, and I do apologize for that. Uh, I trust everybody had a real good week last week, had a real good weekend. It was alright for us. Uh, I really didn't start getting excited until like Thursday evening when we picked up the rental car to, for our trip to Ohio. Uh, uh, we really started getting excited, started feeling the, you know, feeling it, started getting really excited. and uh, We uh, reported that Pontiac G6 2008 was the car we would, we would be driving and uh, they didn't have that on our lot so we had to go with a uh, Grand Prix, a 2008 Pontiac Grand Prix, which was a a uh, little bit of an upgrade there. It was bigger than a G6. Wonderful car, excellent car. We had a real good, uh, uh, real good trip in, uh, uh, with it. Um, we uh, started off there by 8:30, going on 9. There, stopped off there at McDonald's. There, got us a bite to eat uh, for breakfast, uh, just to uh, energize ourselves and uh, kind of get up and you know wake our bodies up there a little more than they already were. And uh, about 10 o'clock there, uh, a little about. A little after 10, 10, 15 or so, we headed on uh, on the road uh, en route to Maslin, Ohio. We got there about uh, 4.15, in between 4.15 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, just to see my mom's face when we pulled up, I mean, she had called us several times during the uh, during the course of the day on Friday uh, just to see exactly where we were. And at one point I was like, well, are you, are you getting antsy, mother? And she's like, yes, I am. So uh, we just see the look on her face when we got out, and as as soon as we got out, I opened up the back door. She immediately went over to the uh, back of the, to the back of the car there, and the door, and I opened it up to get Daniel out. And she immediately went over there, and uh, she uh, just, just a look on her face was just it, it was wonderful, just to see the fact that she was able to see Daniel, and she hadn't seen him in, uh, previously in uh, uh, maybe a year, year and a half, I think it was, or something like that. So. You know that's one of the bad advantages of living out of state, and uh, in in that situation, you know you don't have a much. Uh, you know you can't, you know, just hop over and do things as quick as you want to, because you know states as far away and different other you know, conflictions there. I won't get into that. And you are sorry no. Saturday evening, uh, we uh, went over. Actually, Saturday afternoon, about two thirty or about two thirty to about eight thirty, going on nine o'clock. Uh, there uh, Saturday we uh, went over to my uh, uncle Greg uh, and my uh, aunt Betty. When I was young, I could never uh, say Betty, so I called her Aunt Bodie. And to this day, I still call her Aunt Bodie. But uh, we went over there, and uh, uh, my uncle Greg's uh, uh, family was over there. His sister Chris, his uh, her husband, uh, his brother-in-law uh, uh, Dan, was over there. Uh, his mother uh, uh, Jen was over there. Uh, his two nieces uh, Tara and Devin. Uh, Tara's boyfriend uh, Mike was over there, uh, as well as uh, uh, their daughter uh, Michaela, who was about seven. I tell you what, I'm going to tell you right now. I hadn't seen the, uh, seen them in, oh, I say, a good 20, 25 years or more. And uh, boy, it was it was just wonderful to see them, and they actually remembered it. You know, they actually remembered it. We were sitting down with Uncle Greg's mom. I think it was 83. Jen, uh, we called her Nan. Uh, she sat down and remembered her 50th birthday when we uh, actually got a chance to meet all of them. And uh, we went over there and uh, uh, just kind of celebrated her 50th birthday and had a had a real good time. And uh, I just want to thank uh, you know uh, you know just want to thank Aunt Bodie and uh, Uncle Greg and stuff for uh, everything that they've done for me over the course of these years. But I really won't go into all that until Memory Lane. So make sure you see Memory Lane there and uh, uh, we'll have some real good uh, uh, real good times to reminisce. Uh, back to the good old days there, uh, the times that uh, I can remember. But I just want to basically say that, uh, uh, you know, thanks uh, to uh, yeah, Bodie and Greg and whatnot for, mis for just making the opportunity for us to get down there and have a wonderful time, enjoying time with Mom, uh, enjoying time with them, uh, enjoying time with uh, Uncle Greg's uh, uh, family, like I said, that we I hadn't seen in 20, a uh, good 20, 25, 30 years, or whatever it was, there somewhere in that area. But we had a wonderful time. We had a real good time. Uh, Amanda and Daniel got to meet uh, uh, Aunt Bodie and Uncle Greg and uh, everyone else. Uh, my Aunt Patty, cousin Jeanette, uh, for the very first time, and things went really well. And we had a wonderful time. And I kind of started to really feel. Uh, the uh, 
uh, re you know, really feel, kind of soak in the memories and all the times and just kind of felt, it felt wonderful to actually go down there. Massillon had changed, it changed, it, it changed considerably over the last six years since I have been gone, since 2001, February 24, 2001 to be exact. Uh, my life has been just, it's just been a roller coaster up and down for the last six years since I've been in Indiana, but I'm married now to Amanda and I couldn't be happier, you know, and got Daniel and that's just, that's just the light of my life he is. But I just want to say to everybody out there that uh, I hope you had a real good week, uh, and had a real good weekend, and uh, you heard the uh, the fun that uh, we had. Of course, we went to see my dad and my stepmom Sharon down there in East Sparrow, Ohio. Spent a few hours with them, and my dad was excited, and he was really excited to see us pull in there. He said to me one time, he said, "You know, son, I can't wait for the day when you can pull off there on the Maple Street or Maple Avenue there, pull right up on there into the old man's driveway." Well, I did that, and he's been, and uh, he he had, he had talked about it the whole time, and when I called him to let him know we made it home, he talked about it as well. But like I said, it was just it was just a wonderful weekend, and I just words can't explain the fun that we, or that I had, my, I myself, I mean, I'm sure I can speak for Miranda and Daniel, and they really had fun as well, but I really had a wonderful time, and I really, 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 really honestly, from the bottom of my heart, want to thank Aunt Bodie and whatnot, uh, Uncle Wig and, and everybody and whatnot, for just making this opportunity possible, and uh, everybody have a real good rest of the week, have a real good weekend, tune in. Uh, for uh, my uh, uh, memory lane video, uh, a couple of them or whatnot, you'll be really uh, excited with uh, some of the uh, things that are going on there. I'll see you next week. Peace out.